Hey guys, what's up? It's Alyssa from Holistic List, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some skin healthy foods that are good for clearing acne. Instead of just sitting here and blabbing on and talking about what foods clear acne and why, I decided that maybe it would be fun if we did a little something different. So instead of me just sitting here and talking, we're gonna go. We're gonna be in my kitchen. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a healthy quinoa salad using all skin clearing anti-acne ingredients. Sit back, take some notes, and let's get cooking. I have some radishes. Radishes are known in the food world as a skin brightener, so they help to keep the skin nice and plump and bright. Radishes are high in vitamin C, which act as a antioxidant and they help to boost the radiance of your skin as well as fight off free radicals, which is really awesome. They help repair damaged skin, prevent skin disorders, so basically they help prevent you to get acne. And they also have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties and they also help to hydrate your skin. For all the people who asked what foods are good for dry skin, Radishes are really good for dry skin because they carry a lot of water. So if you have really dry skin, they help to restore the moisture in your skin as well as build collagen and repair damaged skin. Now I'm going to start cutting them up. Then I have asparagus. Asparagus is known as the detoxifier. You know when you eat like a whole bunch of asparagus and your pee smells and you're like ill gross? It's actually a good thing because it means that the asparagus is working to detoxify your body and get rid of all the toxins that you have. I have about this much asparagus. That's how much I'm gonna cut up while I talk. Asparagus helps to flush out all of the toxins in your skin, which if you have a lot of toxins in your skin, obviously it's gonna cause inflammation and cause acne. So asparagus is rich in vitamins and minerals, and those vitamins and minerals are excellent for skin. It helps to keep your skin clear, sure that you don't get any acne, any redness, any like psoriasis. It keeps skin also looking like really youthful because it helps to detoxify the body. It's a really good liver detoxifier. It slows down the aging process, so you also have young looking skin forever, which who doesn't want to look young forever? Like you know, wrinkles. We're gonna add some. That's a lot of asparagus. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna add some asparagus to our quinoa bowl. I might save like half of this for later because I just realized this is a lot of asparagus that I'm about to use. The next food I have, uh, I guess you can't really tell what this is, but this is a package of already steamed and peeled baby beets. I can't be bothered to try to go to the store, to the store and purchase a big thing of beets and peel them and steam them myself. That just takes way too long. So I go to Trader Joe's and I get the already steamed and peeled beets and it makes my life so much easier. So I just cut it up and I throw them into my, oh god, please don't cut myself, please don't cut myself. <laughs> I throw them into my quinoa bowl. So I'm only gonna cut up two of these like little beets and we'll save the rest for another day because I don't need all these beets in this quinoa bowl. I know beets get like a bad rap and people think beets are super gross, but I've been actually really liking beets recently. They have become quickly one of my favorite foods. I don't know what it is about it, I don't know what why all of a sudden my love for beets is happening. Um, I've literally been grossed up by beets my entire life and just this year I had something with beets in it and now I'm obsessed. Beets are really good because they detoxify the liver. You know how beets are like super red and they stain your skin? Like my fingers are right now. <laughs> Can you see this? Yes, yeah, because they contain betalins. So basically, it's betalins are responsible for the really red color in beets, which helps to boost and detoxify the liver. The liver is really important for skin health because the liver detoxifies the body. It helps make skin clear, which, you know, clear skin, no acne, no just toxins in your body. When the liver helps to get rid of all the toxins in your body, it helps clear out congestion and inflammation. Beets also contain soluble fiber, which also help to you know flush out the system and get rid of a whole bunch of toxins so you really want a lot of fiber in your diet if you are dealing with acne because it will definitely help you to not only with like your digestive issues and to clear out everything but it also helps to you know like just get rid of unwanted toxins and beets also contain a lot of collagen which help to keep your skin plump and radiant looking and young and no wrinkles again because again we don't want wrinkles so next 
food that helps fat acne, leafy greens, the heart and soul of literally everything I put in my food. I try to eat like a really plant-based diet. And so, I mean, I eat meat still, like don't get me wrong, in and out my life. And I'll eat a fat steak any day of the week, but you know, obviously I don't eat it every day of the week. So I try to stick to plant-based meals. Every meal that I try to make, I try to have at least one source of dark leafy greens. So your dark leafy greens are typically like kale, the arugula I have, spinach, swiss chard, watercress, so, so many, like there's so many awesome dark leafy greens out there. They basically help to not only clear up your skin, but give you that really glowy supermodel skin. I'm talking about like that glowy ass skin that you see Gigi Hadid with and you're like, girl, tell me your secrets. She probably eats hella dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens are a really good source of vitamins and minerals, help to support cell growth. They are also helpful in, again, detoxifying the body. Basically help to repair the skin and repair the body and detoxify the body so that your hair, nails, and skin look healthy and strong. Dark leafy greens are loaded with vitamin A, which is really good at treating acne because vitamin A helps to reduce sebum production which is basically what gives you like really oily skin and helps you break out. Vitamin A also helps to eliminate toxins from the body for clear skin. Dark leafy greens also contain vitamin E, which protects skin from free radical damage. So it also acts as an antioxidant. It's good for reducing inflammation and good for keeping your skin clear. It also has folate, which is good to help skin repair itself and create new skin cells. And it also has fiber, omega-3s, iron, magnesium, potassium, and vitamins A, B, C, and E. So it basically has almost everything that you need for your body to work. So dark leafy greens are literally the best in your life. I'm just cutting up like a handful of dark leafy greens of the kale. I don't cook by arugula just because it gives it a different flavor. I mean, it's fine, it's just not the flavor that I like compared to just raw arugula. So I will cook the asparagus, the beets, and the kale, and I will leave the arugula and the radishes raw, and I will just sprinkle those on top after. I'm gonna make the quinoa, and I'm gonna explain to you why quinoa is good for you. I have this big old bag from quinoa that I got from Costco. I'm going to cook one cup of quinoa in two cups of boiling water for about 10 minutes until it gets nice and fluffy and all, it absorbs all the water. Quinoa is a protein powerhouse basically. It's gluten free, so if you have any gluten intolerances or you try to stay away from gluten, this is the perfect thing for you because it's gluten free and it's a great source of protein. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, you should definitely try to incorporate some quinoa into your diet. Although quinoa is high in protein, it is low in carbs. Quinoa is a good source of amino acids, which is really good at repairing damaged skin cells and wound healing. So if you like pick at your skin like I did the other day, which I know I'm a bad girl, I'll eat this quinoa and it's gonna help me repair Quinoa also helps to boost metabolism, which helps to keep your skin clear. It's high in B vitamins, which help to improve the skin elasticity. And it also has fiber, zinc, folate, and B vitamin. Garbanzo beans. We're gonna throw some garbanzo beans also into the quinoa salad and garbanzo beans are really good because they're low on the glycemic level so low glycemic carbs are really good for people who suffer with acne because they help to stabilize your sugar when you have balanced blood sugar levels it helps with inflammation acne especially hormonal acne it also helps to keep you full longer throughout the day and helps to give you steady energy which is really good so if you eat this you're going to be fuller for longer and you're going to have steady energy throughout the day so you won't have like that like crash that you get when you eat like simple carbohydrates like 
white bread or pasta or something like that. Chickpeas also have fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, iron, folate, and phosphorus, which are all vitamins and minerals that you need in your body that also help fight acne. It's time to start cooking. I'm going to throw the garbanzo beans into a pan and saute them with some spices and avocado oil and I'm going to throw in all my veggies and then by then the quinoa should be ready and then we will have a yummy meal. So let's do this. I have these basil and garlic cubes that I also get from Trader Joe's and they're just chopped and frozen basil and garlic cubes and basil and garlic are also really good for getting rid of acne because they're super antimicrobial and antimacterial which help get rid of acne so I add basil and garlic literally to everything makes it taste good helps give your food flavor without you having to add a whole bunch of salt and they're good for you and good for your skin And then I'm just going to do a little dash of salt because it needs a little salt. Salt is really good for you. You need salt in your diet. Don't think otherwise. I know excess salt is bad for you, but you still need salt in your diet. So, just a little salt. Just a little pinch of salt. And then I love fresh cracked pepper, so I'm going to put a whole bunch of fresh cracked pepper in this. I'm going to mix all of this together so it's all evenly coated and evenly distributed. I wish there was like smell TV or something or that there was like a way that you can smell this through your computer or through your phone because it literally smells amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna plate my food. So I'm gonna take about a half a cup of quinoa. So that's about half a cup of quinoa. I'm going to scoop some of my veggies into here. Now, I don't really have a specific amount. I kind of just plate it up until I'm happy with how much is on there. I'm going to take my favorite thing in the world, my one true day, my heart, my soul, avocado. I freaking love avocado. I'm pretty sure I have at least, at least half of one a day and not a full one. I know I shouldn't be eating a full one every day. I just love it so much. I'm trying to cut down to only eating half a day. But avocado is so amazing for you. It's so amazing for your skin. Um, again, it's one of those foods that help people with dry skin. So if you're suffering from dry skin, it helps to act as a natural moisturizer to moisturize your skin from within. It's a source of really good healthy fats. Now I know fat gets a really bad rap and people think that fat's so bad for you. And that you shouldn't be eating fat. But if you're eating a good kind of fat, it's actually like really good for you. You need fat in your diet. So can we just talk about how perfect this avocado is. Like, oh. <laughs> Avocado is a really good source of healthy fat, which helps to keep your skin moisturized and also protects it from UV damage. It helps to soothe the sensitivity and inflammation in the skin. It's rich in antioxidants, so again, it helps protect against cell damage, 
and helps to promote skin elasticity, which helps to keep your skin supple and smooth. It's also high in fiber and high in omega-3 fatty acids, has vitamin C, E, and K, basically everything to give you smooth, supple, radiant, clear skin, which, you know, like, what food, you know, do you know that does all that in one? Like, what in your skincare can you say that does all those things for you without giving you a horrible reaction? Like, nothing. Like, avocado is bae because you can put it on your skin, you can eat it, you can do whatever, and it still gives you amazing results. Pro tip, don't let your dog eat avocado. <laughs> not good for dogs. Good for humans, not good for dogs. And now, So this is our finished product. Literally, I cannot wait to eat this. You got the radish, the beets, avocado, your kale, your um, arugula, your chickpeas. You got the quinoa on the bottom. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I hope you enjoyed this little food demo slash all the foods that help clear your skin. I'm gonna go enjoy my now yummy dinner. If you guys do recreate this meal, please take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram because I love seeing all your recreations. Let me know if you do like this or if you, you know, added something else or if you took something else or you didn't like something. And let me know if you see a difference in your skin if you do try this or no, you don't have to make just this recipe. You can use these ingredients and make them in other meals and, you know, you can make so many different things with the ingredients that I've told you about. And they'll still give you the same benefits. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little glimpse of how you can make a really easy, healthy meal at home really quickly, and I'll show you all of the amazing ingredients that are good for your skin and incorporate them into one meal. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check out my social media, at Holisticless, on Instagram. I also have a Twitter, and a Pinterest, and a Facebook, and a blog that I mainly use Instagram. I guess that's it. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will speak to you soon. Bye!